Hi, and welcome back to Someday is Now. This is Martha and Russ coming to you from Idaho. Today we have a two-part video for you. We are going to show you our initial walkthrough when we first got our Tandara 321 RL OK. We wanted to show our friends and family our new home on wheels. But now we've had her for about a month and we wanted to give you a one month review. So stick around until the end so you can see what we like and don't like about our Tandara 321. Hi, welcome back to Someday Is Now. We're here to show you our new home. We just traded in our Grand Design Travel Trailer for an east to west fifth wheel. The model number is a 321 RL for rear living, okay for outdoor kitchen. So come on in. The biggest thing that we noticed right away when we came into this unit was how much higher the ceilings are. And that's due to the fifth wheel design. And it just makes it feel so much more homey. So we have our dinette with a storage bench under it. Nice windows here. We have a 50 inch smart TV with surround sound and our fireplace that we love in the morning to take the chill out. Nice big fireplace. We have the rear couch here. This folds out into a queen bed very easily. Again, lots of windows around. We have some storage up above the couch. We also have a big, big storage space up above the TV. We have the surround sound speakers that I already mentioned. Next to the couch, we have um, regular outlets and two USB ports on each end. Over here, we have our reclining love seat that's right across from the TV, so it makes for a very enjoyable, relaxing experience after a day of hiking. Now we bring you into the kitchen. We have a full-size, residential-size microwave that's great. Um, storage here and up above. We have our stove. This is actually bigger than our previous rig stove by a couple inches. So um, that's going to be nice to do some baking in. The three burner, typical RV stove. We mounted our paper towels and our pot holders over here. And one thing we loved about our old unit that we got in this one as well is this kitchen island, which just gives so much more space when you're prepping and cooking. It's got a nice single, very large stainless steel sink, which is much more conducive to washing dishes than the double sinks. There's more storage underneath on this side, and here, we have a 14 and a half cubic foot air refrigerator, which is so extravagant for us. It has two freezer drawers. This pantry is just amazing. We were able to fit our um, drinking water bottle in here, but we will move it for traveling because it might be a bit too heavy for that shelf while we're traveling. More storage up above. And these lock in for traveling. The lighting in here is really nice too. We have lots of overhead lights. We have these pendant lights over the sink. We also have a max air vent that we can turn on to bring some cool air in or use as an extra exhaust if we're cooking something smelly. We have two air conditioning units. One's here in the living area, the other one is in the bedroom. 
So here we have our command center. I'll start at the bottom. This is a, just a switch for the lights over the sink. Our typical furnace um, controls. This is our max air control. We have our slides, our awnings, our lights, our electric or gas hot water heater. Um, we have tank heaters as well, which is gonna come in handy tonight because it's supposed to get down into the 20s. And this is our power inverter for the refrigerator. So when we take off and we disconnect from shore power, we hit it and it goes over to the 12 volt battery. So here we have our Jack and Jill bathroom with plenty of storage, a 30 by 48 shower, um, large sink area, ceramic commode, um, a skylight and uh, fan vent, which is pretty typical for most RVs these days. So from the bedroom, we also have access to the bathroom by the sliding door. Again, it has a travel lock on it, so we'll secure everything before we head out. One thing we would like to add here is some shelving for our phones and iPads and so forth. There are outlets on either side of the bed, but we need a little area to put our um, devices because we tend to read on them before we go to bed. So here, we have a great big closet. It's actually prepped for washer and dryer in here, but we're not um, ready for that just yet. So we are we filled it with clothes. Our IKEA storage solutions here can be very handy. Um, we have our cleaning room and vacuum and so forth in there as well. Laundry. Over here, I'm very excited to have a dresser, finally. So I've Velcroed this little container down so I can keep some of my things out. Um, we have four drawers that we have split evenly. And some family photos and things. And up here we have our um, second air conditioning unit. And it has its own control. We hope you enjoyed the tour of our new home. Now Russ is going to take you around the outside. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a little tour of the outside of our brand new East West Tendara 321 RLOK. The OK stands for Outdoor Kitchen. And here it is with the door open. And this is really cool. We're excited about this. It has a much larger refrigerator than we had in our old area. Oh, how'd that beer get in there? And uh, you got lots of room. Out here, storage up there. There's a light. There's actually a TV up here that comes down on a little conveyor. So you can watch games or whatever. This is a little, a great little gray stone griddle that pulls out. And the interior of this is metal, so it makes me feel a lot better about grilling out here. So that's the outdoor kitchen in the back of the unit we have a um, um, blue boy honey wagon whatever you want to call it on the back and this is the back you have so many windows on this unit it's amazing it's already prepped for a backup camera I'll be installing that soon and this is coming around the other side with one slide out one of the things we love about this new rig is it has a lot more storage. Um, the lighting on it, everything's fantastic. This is a hookup control center. The dump valves with black and gray water. It's really great. And we had the Anderson Ultimate fifth wheel hitch installed on this unit. Again, this is a 321 RL. Okay, we've got a generator stored inside there as well as our two deep cycle batteries. The propane is two 30 gallon tanks, one on either side. And one of the things we love is the incredible amount of storage. Here in what most people refer to as a garage, we have lots, lots of room. We've got 
looking pretty organized tools squared away everything you need for your camping experience is in there um, overall let's see the trailer has two awnings one over that slide and then the big one over on this end we just the first time we've even put that out of course we're pulling it with the Ford F-250 6.2 gas and there you go that's the outside tour auto leveling system so far we're loving it toes like a dream first a couple things that were really nice surprises one thing that I love is the way the water panel is set up. There's a very clear diagram showing you how to move the valves so that you can fill or dry camp or use city water. They make it idiot proof. It's set up with very clear diagrams, color coded so that it's totally idiot proof. And we can make sure that we have all our valves in the right position for city water, dry camping, filling our tanks, winterizing or sanitizing. Another advantage over our previous rig is that the valve pulls for our tanks are right here. We don't have to climb under the rig. We pull them right here, have our hose hooked up, and boom, it's done. One of the things that's a negative normally with a fifth wheel when you're pulling it is you lose your bed capacity with the big hitch that's mounted in the bed for the fifth wheel. This rig has a lot of storage, so the pass-through storage it's pretty large, we really like that. One other thing that they make idiot proof is the auto leveling system. It's a Lippert LCI auto leveler, but it works great. The um, rep at the dealership showed us how to manually lower the legs partway and then let the rig do the rest of it. And it's been great. One of the things we really liked, and most of these rigs have this, and that's the receiver hitch, which is underneath. And it's really cool because that gave us the ability to add this tray. Some people call this a basket, but a tray to be able to put additional devices in. In this case, our generator. This has really been a hassle, lifting this generator. In the front of the rig is not really good because you got lifted and it's super heavy. Having it in the bed of the truck was okay, but again, it's very awkward trying to move it around in there. This tray and that hitch on the back of the rig has really made that nice. So that's a definite positive. So unfortunately, we do need the generator more than we expected. So this is where we're gonna tell you the few negatives that we have about this rig. On our first expedition, we learned the hard way, the importance of getting everything out from under your slides because here we have the result of a rock being caught under the slide. We're going to repair it now and then eventually replace part of the flooring. So the other thing that we really don't like about this rig is the guillotine windows. So they are either open or closed. They're on a single track and they catch with these little plastic latches that sometimes work they work that time sometimes they don't but when you go to close them you have to push the top and hold the window which is rather heavy so it doesn't slam and pinch your fingers very awkward we have discovered that this rig is not set up for boondocking as it comes off the lot, which is how we bought it. The big refrigerator is wonderful. We love all the space and the two freezer drawers, but it does not run off of propane. So when we're not plugged into shore power, it's using the battery and it uses a lot of battery. It takes us about an hour to charge the batteries with the generator, but then depending on the weather outside, if it's too hot or too cold, the refrigerator runs the batteries down way too fast and we have to charge every couple hours. To deal with the refrigerator draining the batteries within a couple hours, we have ordered two lithium batteries that we're going to get next week 
and hook up. So stay tuned and keep a watch out for that video coming soon. Overall, we love this new rig. Our East to West Tandara 321 RLOK -OK is okay with us.